So, Bonamgan, welcome back to Zulu Lessons with me, Tando, the place for modern conversational Zulu language lessons. Mgani, we are still asking questions in Isi Zulu. Now let's look at the question when. Nini. Do you hear that? N-I-N-I. Nini is the question when in Isi Zulu. You can simply add this to the end of every phrase. Let's ask a simple question. When are you going to study? Now, do you hear that? It's a future tense that we are using. We are asking you when you will study, when are you going to study? So we are going to be employing the future tense here. And the question is directed to you. So the pronoun is then going to be u, followed by the future tense article, which is zo. Be careful, I'm not saying zo, I'm saying zo. And then followed by the verb or action word itself, which is funda. So now we have uzo funda. You will learn, you are going to learn, you will study, you are going to study. And then now we finally end it with the question word, ni, 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 when. So here we are. Uzo funda ni, ni. Uzo funda ni, ni. Uzo funda ni, ni. When are you going to study? When will you study? That's it. That's how to ask when in Isizur. Let's ask other questions with the question word when, which is nini. When did they arrive? Bafike nini. Bafike nini. Do you hear the question? It's saying when did they arrive? So this is something that has already taken place. So it's the recent past. So our verb is going to end with A, which is the letter E. Ba fig e ni ni. When did they arrive? Mgan, please click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Ngiabong. Another example. When is the king speaking? The king is in Osi. The king. Of course, there is another noun, which is Isilo. Let's make an example with that one after this one. In Osi, that's our noun. And to speak is Kuluma. And of course, the question word is Nini Quen. So, it's, this obviously is something that has not taken place yet because we are saying, when is the king speaking? But do you hear that we don't have the future tense in that question? So we're not saying when will the, the king speak or when is the king going to speak? We are asking this as though it was a present tense sentence. So let's ask it that way even in Isizu. Ikuluma nini inkosi. Ikuluma nini inkosi. Ikuluma nini inkosi. You can also start with this, this question with the noun itself, inkosi, and say, inkosi ikuluma nini. Inkosi ikuluma nini. Inkosi ikuluma nini. When is the king speaking? Now let's use the noun isilo, which is only to be used to the king of Amazon because he is he is the king above other kings, not other kings all over the world or all over Africa. No, we are just talking about the nation of Amazon. So that noun and that title is only only towards him and afforded to him because he is a king of kings. So, isilo. 
Now the here that word is so the pronoun for it or the subject concord for it is then going to be C. Sikulu manini isilo. Sikulu manini isilo. When is the king speaking? Or we can start with the noun itself and say, Isilo sikulu manini. Isilo sikulu manini. When is the king speaking? Now let's ask, answer these questions. Say you are going to tell me that you will study tonight, right? From my, the question I asked you earlier was, Uzo fundanini, when will you study? Now, let's say you are telling me that you are going to study tonight. You will study tonight. Tonight is ebusuku. Ebusuku. So here is the answer then. I will study tonight. Ngizofunda ebusuku. Ngizofunda ebusuku. Ngizofunda ebusuku. Now, when is the king speaking? Inkosi izokuluma kusasa. Inkosi izokuluma kusasa. The king will speak tomorrow. Let's use the noun isilo. Isilo sizo kuluma kusasa. Isilo sizo kuluma kusasa. And of course, both of these statements, you can take the noun itself and use it or say it at the very end of the sentence. Izo kuluma kusasa ingosi. Izo kuluma kusasa ingosi. And sizo kuluma kusasa isilo. Sizo kuluma kusasa isilo. That's simply it. Ngan. How to ask when in isizulu. Kusale gashi.